I am Akbar Zahid and you are watching Osh Channel. Two explosions have killed 84 people and wounded over 280 others on Wednesday during the fourth death anniversary of Iranian commander Qasem Soleimani in the city of Kerman. Soleimani was killed in 2020 by a U.S. drone attack. Iranian officials suspect this as a terrorist attack. Iran's supreme leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei blamed evil and criminal enemies of the country for the attack and pledged a harsh response. This disaster will have a harsh response, God willing, he said. In a statement, Iran's President Ebrahim Raisi said, Undoubtedly, the perpetrators of this cowardly act will soon be identified and punished for their heinous act by the capable security and law enforcement forces. The enemies of the nation should know that such actions can never disrupt the solid determination of the Iranian nation. Hassan Nasrallah, the leader of the Iran-backed Lebanese group Hezbollah, said those who were commemorating the death of Soleimani were targeted. The Yemeni group condemned what it called the criminal bombings on the anniversary of Soleimani's death. The Iraqi government issued a statement condemning the explosion and described it as a terrorist attack in Kerman. Malaysian Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim, Russian President Vladimir Putin, Turkey's President Recep Tayyip Erdogan conveyed their condolences and solidarity with Iran and its people. European Union demanded that the perpetrators of the twin blasts be brought to justice and condemned the attack. UN Chief Antonio Guterres offered his condolences for those killed and called for the perpetrators to be held accountable. US officials rejected any suggestion that it or Ali Israel was behind deadly blasts in Iran. Soleimani was killed four years ago in a US drone strike. Department of State spokesperson Matthew Miller said, the United States was not involved in any way but we do express our sympathies to the victims and their loved ones who died in this horrific explosion. That's all in today's bulletin. Inshallah, we'll meet you again in our next bulletin.